Lenong Pass is a short but very steep pass situated within the boundaries of the Palansberg Game Reserve. It should not be confused with another pass of the same name located fairly close by in the Marakeli National Park near Tabazimbi. It forms the only access route up onto a high plateau from where visitors to the park are offered fabulous vistas over the surrounding plains and dams from a number of heights and viewpoints. The entire pass has been surfaced with paving bricks and can be driven in all vehicles and in any weather, but some of the gravel roads on top of the mountain are in a poor condition and careful driving will be required if you're not in a high clearance vehicle or in adverse weather conditions. To drive this pass, you'll need to enter the park itself. An entrance fee will be levied and as this is not a national park, wildcard holder concessions don't apply. Accommodation, ranging from camping to luxurious lodges, is available in the reserve and in the immediate vicinity. You can also access the park as a day visitor. Unfortunately, no private open vehicles, motorcycles or quads are allowed. We filmed this pass in the ascending mode, which is the direction that fast time users will have to drive it, as it is an out and back route. The pass starts at a T-junction, where the paved road heads up a gentle slope in a southerly direction. After a short straight of 100 meters, the road follows a series of three gentle bends, then the first of a number of shallow draining culverts which are interspersed throughout the pass is encountered. The crater of a long extinct volcano is the setting of the Palansberg Game Reserve, a fascinating alkaline complex produced by volcanic eruptions some 1.3 billion years ago. Palansberg is one of the largest volcanic complexes of its kind in the world, and its rare rock types and structure make it a unique geological feature. The area is fringed by three concentric ridges of rings of hills resembling the ripples formed by a droplet of water. Ancient, even by geological timescales, this extinct volcano is the most perfect example of an alkaline ring complex. At the 800 meter mark, the gradient kicks up considerably and the road enters a sharp hairpin bend of 170 degrees to the right. The roadway is bounded by safety railings on both sides and is only wide enough throughout this corner to accommodate one vehicle. If you meet up with another vehicle coming in the opposite direction, one of you will have to reverse. The general rule of thumb is that ascending vehicles have the right of way, but in this case it will depend on circumstances. A lay-by is provided on the left for descending vehicles just before this narrow section is encountered. Still climbing steeply, the road curves to the right, then tracks back through another 170 degree hairpin bend, this time to the left. This is followed by a long right hand bend, then a sharp 90 degree turn to the left. A shallow S-bend leads into a short straight of 50 meters, then into a long gentle left hand curve. The last sharp corner of the pass is a 150 degree hairpin to the right and then the gradient starts to flatten out a little as a few more gentle bends are encountered, leading you up to the end of the pass, which is defined by a Y junction at the 1.7 km mark. To get to the Lenong viewpoint, take the left hand option at the fork and continue along the gravel road for 900 meters. At this point you'll reach an intersection where you should turn to the left then continue up the hill for another 850 meters. There's a small road leading off to the right, which will take you to a hide which offers magnificent views over the flat plains below. It's essential that you have a pair of binoculars with you. You simply have to retrace your route to return back to the starting point.